guys, hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new vlog, kind of continuing on from last vlog. I am tackling the house again today. I've still got loads to do. So lots of house content coming your way. I hope you guys are not gonna get bored of this because there's a lot of organizing and sorting to do. So plan is to keep working on the kitchen area today. I am going to pop out this morning. I need to do a bit of a food shop and I also wanted to just pop into TK Maxx Home Sense as well. I've got a couple of things on my list of things that I need to buy. First and foremost for the kitchen is some kind of step stool, step ladder. I'm thinking rustic wooden. I've got a little wooden stool but it's honestly not enough to step on to clean out the cupboards at the top and um, for now I've asked Tom to do it so he's just cleaning the top cupboards that I can't reach but ideally just to be able to reach stuff I want some kind of a step stool step ladder so that's on my agenda and I thought potentially HomeSense might have something like that um, and then yeah whilst I'm there it's near big Tesco's I think I'm gonna go to Tesco's and M&S at Hanforth Dean if you're local to like Wilmslow area um, so yeah, that's the plan for today. Lots to do. I have actually been filming bits throughout cleaning the kitchen already. So if there's a change of outfits, hair and makeup, you'll know why. But I'll show you all those clips and like kind of bring you up to speed with things later on. Uh, but for now, I feel like we should just get on the road. I have just had a couple of deliveries. So maybe I'll show you these first. Excited to give these a try from Pixie because I do love Pixie makeup. But look at these little clarity blemish stickers for your spots, which I thought was quite good. My skin's doing all right at the minute. I'm really happy with my skincare routine and everything. Hay fever, on the other hand, I've never really suffered with hay fever. I might get a little bit of like dry eyes or whatever, but. My eyes have been so itchy, so I bought some eye drops, like itchy eye relief eye drops, which have been good. But because I wear contact lenses, you can't put them in when you've got contacts in. And I went to try and find some glasses yesterday. I couldn't find any, so I'm gonna have to buy a pair of glasses. I have no idea where mine go, because I never wear glasses. And honestly, guys, I cannot see without my contact lenses in. So I've just been putting them in like first thing in the morning and then before bed at night, which has helped, but I think I'm gonna go get some actual hay fever allergy relief tablets because Tom's had some and it seems to be helping. So I'm gonna go get us some more of those and have one myself. But yeah, clarity blemish stickers I thought could be quite fun if you've got like, I tend to get like hormonal breakouts um, when it's the time of the month and we're coming up to that this week so yeah we'll give them a try and then this clarity mist sounds lovely you can put it on before makeup as a base you can put it on on top of makeup as a refresher at night to lock in moisturized your moisturizer so yeah we'll give them a try they sound nice and refreshing good for summer and then antipodes i think that's how you pronounce the brand have very kindly sent me a couple of things as well. Ooh, H2O de-puffing eye gel. That sounds lovely. So you've got the little eye gel in here, but also a water gel, which I'm assuming is for the rest of your face as well. Try them together um, and we'll let you guys know how I get on with them. So without further ado, let's head over to Home Sense. What else have I got on my list of things I need to buy other than a wooden step stool? Oh, I need to get some washing up liquid, washing up pods, cleaning essentials. So I might pop over to B&M and Home Bargains as well. Maybe do that in my next video. Do like a full Home Bargains B&M haul. I don't know if I'll get around to doing all of that today, but we will just see where the day takes us. Sit back, relax, make sure you've got yourself a nice cozy drink. I feel questionable with this outfit on whether or not I can go out in it because it's very casual and comfy. I've got this lightweight kind of cardi on from Tesco's this knit vest from Primark, and then these Gilly Hicks, uh, like kind of lounge pants. They've got little slits on the side. I'm just gonna put on my, my white Birkenstocks. But yeah, I feel that comfy that I feel questionable on whether or not I could go out in this outfit, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna go out feeling like we're in our PJs because why not? Travel the 
just spotted a couple of these. I think they're in like the outdoor section, $34.99 each. Really tempted for these, whether or not inside or outside, I don't know. I mean, I suppose outside they'd look quite cute with a little kind of bistro table, like a little marble top table or something like that. I just think $34.99 is quite good for that. Or like I say, you could put it inside and use it as like kind of a bit of a plant stand or like a plinth. Hmm. Tempted. I did also have on my list of things to get a lamp, like a really small lamp. But I had my eyes on one on Zara Home and I have had for a while to be honest with you. So I decided to just get it. So that should be here tomorrow actually. Um, and it's got like a little stone base. Um, it's cute. It's to go like on the media wall in the kind of like new kitchen extension area. So anyway. I'll show you guys that once it's here. So they have these step stools, but if I'm being completely honest, I was thinking much cuter than just like a little plastic one. So the hunt is still on. I want like a bigger one than that as well, because I also think that's not going to be tall enough. So rather than a stool, it's probably going to have to be a bit more of like a folding ladder. Um, but yeah, I'll keep, keep looking. So then they have these ladders, which obviously gorgeous. However, I just don't know if they're designed to actually be stood on. I think they're more just decorative. But that could just stand up against the wall in the utility. I actually think $29.99 is a good price for that, you know, even as a display decorative one. I might get one of these. I like this colour. This one's $45.99 though, but I'm not a fan of the black kind of like feet. I think I just prefer the white wooden ones. Well, that was a fun little trip out. Now back home, first things first, light a candle. The first candle lighting experience on the new island, very, very happy. Uh, yeah, it's time to get our clean on, guys. I got this PR package very conveniently from Zaflora, so I decided to crack it open along with a brand new pair of my favorite washing up gloves, the deluxe moisturizing ones from Lakeland. I will leave the exact ones linked below. They're so good, guys. And I'm using the Dunelm products that they do there. It's like their own cleaning range. Um, yeah, some really good products that they do. So that is my plan, draw by draw. I'm just emptying it out, uh, giving it a good scrub down before loading it back with anything that I took out, but just kind of taking off labels and packaging and then um yeah the organizational part will come at a later date for now it's just about getting things in cupboards ready for me to organize So my method so far is very much just draw by draw, thoroughly cleaning, wiping down every single one because some of them still are fully like dusty from the kitchen installation. So draw by draw, I'll open it up. Anything that was placed inside there as like kitchen stuff to sort, I've just kind of unbagged them and put them away. 
And then what I'll do eventually is once I've got everything out and I can see exactly what we've got within the kitchen, I can then start organizing everything into their like forever homes because I think these will probably be pan drawers and baking trays, which I've already got baking trays in there, but in there there's like napkin rings and bowls. So they're definitely not gonna belong there, but for now, unboxing everything. And then also, as I'm going through the bags, things like this, these need a clean. So anything that needs a clean, then I'm just putting to one side to either um, fill up the dishwasher or anything that needs hand washing, just give it a wash and a dry before pu putting it um, back away into a clean drawer. So that's my system. And we've got a lot more cupboards and drawers to go. There's nothing quite like a brand new fresh oven that actually doesn't need a clean because it's brand new. I've actually never had one of these before. Never had a brand new oven, never experienced that. Um, what I have done is the bottom tray, which can be a nightmare to keep clean. I'm just going to constantly have a fresh, I need to get a bigger foil, but this one was too narrow so I had to do a couple of sheets. But I'm gonna get a large industrial kitchen foil to fit this. And I'm just gonna always have foil ready to go on there so that any kind of like fat that drops down or anything like that. Oh, just look at that brand spanking new fresh clean oven. Oh, I almost don't wanna use it. Yeah, I just think this will be really easy to manage if we just constantly have foil raring to go. So whenever we cook, although oh, that's catching there. Yeah, whenever we cook, it will be nice and easy to at least get the main bulk of any kind of grease or fat that drops down from whatever we're cooking. Um, it's really easy to just take that foil off and bin it and then replace it with a brand new fresh one. So yeah, just thought I'd give a little tip there if anyone else has got a brand new oven or just had a deep oven clean, just to keep on top of it a lot easier. That is my plan. Again, continuing on with my method, I am just emptying out all the cupboards, giving them a good clean. I have found these uh, Zephora wipes quite good actually. They are the lemon zing ones, one of my favorite scents that they do for summer. So definitely recommend those. I tried the Sunshine Escape, I think it's called. Um, didn't really like that scent if I'm honest with you. It's like more coconutty. So I was glad to have finished those wipes and starting these new lemon zing ones much more up my street. Um, so yeah, I started putting things away and I was like, no, let me take off all the packaging. Um, so that is what I ended up doing, going back in and removing any kind of cardboard bits and uh, covers and labels and everything like that as I go. I just find, I thought it would help myself in the long run to start um, doing it now, essentially. By the way, this book, which I picked up from HomeSense, but I'll leave it linked below. It's actually a bit cheaper on Amazon. Such lovely aesthetic and displays. I love the fact that they've got like imagery on each page. Really good cooking book. And I think it will look really nice styled up as well, either on the island, on the shelf, wherever I end up putting it. I've still got lots more cooking books down in the uh, storage room to bring up. So yeah, kind of excited to go through and see what I have bought because yeah, I've forgotten. If I'm being completely honest with you, there's that many that I've been buying over a prolonged period of time, which has definitely helped me out in the long run because it's not like I'm having to fork out a load of money to be able to style up spaces. I've kind of got everything I already need.
It is a brand new morning. I've got really itchy eyes and I feel like it's hay fever. I might get some eye drops because oh, it's really itchy. Anyway, I have put makeup on purpose to try and stop me from itching my eyes because it only makes it worse. But um, yeah, it's a fresh new morning. Managed to figure out how to get, because I was struggling yesterday, the timer on the oven. We've not actually got that one switched on yet. I used this one for the first time last night. Did some chicken shawarma and it was delicious. And my little foil trick worked because everything is still sparkling fresh and brand new. And yeah, so 8.26 a.m. this morning, we have the people fitting the coving in today. So they are coming to fit that over the next couple of days, I think. It's quite heavy, it's quite big. We're only having coving in the front room, like the black room. Let me show you how black it is. It's kind of scary, guys, I'm not gonna lie. It is bold, but I feel like it's, um, if you can hear Tom out there, he's just out there working this morning with Barney sunbathing. We're gonna go for a nice long walk in a minute. Once he's done on that call, but yeah. <laughs> it's bold. So I just feel like once this room is furnished, it will soften the black because it is quite like <laughs> whoa and um, so we're gonna have like a nice big light colored cozy rug in here and obviously the flooring at the minute that's on is like the protector so once that's off that'll look instantly better i think it looks gorgeous against the fireplace the limestone so so nice so it's black 02 from lick so skirts are going to be white window sills are going to be white the coving that they're going to add on is going to be white the ceilings are going to be white it's just the walls that are black and it is bold gone for ceiling roses as well so yeah plus the ceiling roses where we've got the two ceiling roses for in here and look how wide that coving is this is the coving it's massive that's how thick it is so yeah, and it's decorative as well. It's got a pattern on it. Let me see if this piece is loose, if I can show you. You can kind of, kind of get an idea as to what it's gonna be like. This is how the bookcase is looking. Obviously still to paint in here, but um, the doors that will go on these as well. So the only shelves are these top ones. We've got lights to go on the side of them. So yeah, that is a little update of how the black room is looking like. Shutters, we're getting Jola blind shutters the same as we had in our bedroom. They're actually, wow, the black shows off these flyaways. <laughs> My hair needs a wash, but I just thought it's a get stuff done day today, so we'll manage. Why am I looking so shiny? Um, I didn't powder, that's probably why. Anyway, what I was saying about, what was I saying? Jola blinds, they are, our shutters are here. So we're having shutters in this room to match obviously the front bay window to our upstairs bay and the top floor windows because we've just had shutters essentially on the front of the house. But with this room all being open, we are gonna have shutters on that window and that window as well. So um, they're here, they're ready to be fit. They've been here for about a week actually. They were ahead of schedule, but the painting needed to get done first. So. The painter's gonna prioritize the window areas to make sure they are done so that they are ready for the shutters to be fit on, what day are we on? Monday, so in like three or four days. And hopefully the most of it should, the most of it, most of the room should be done by then. Um, Cause he did say maximum two weeks. So we booked in Jola blinds to fit the shutters in exactly two week mark, so. The only thing is he might need some more paint ordering. Can I hear a pooch? Oh no, it's a human. <laughs> I thought you were on the phone, are you done? We'll have to wait for the coving guys to get here before we go for a little walk. Oh, shut up. I'm just kick it. You make yourself coffee? Do not want to make one? I've got peppermint tea, thank you. I thought you were saying go. To the chapel and we're gonna get married. Was that you proposing? <laughs> I got it on camera. <laughs> I'll take it. Are you enjoying the sunshine? Oh, he just loves being out here. 
Tom's been enjoying that hammock, covered in bird poop now. What did I say? When Tom was at cricket one day, I looked outside and there was a row of magpies just sat along the entire hammock and I thought, yeah, that's not gonna be a hammock that I'm gonna sit on any. <laughs> that's not gonna be a hammock. Ow! <laughs> yeah, get in Barney. Thinking that's not gonna be a hammock I'm sitting on any day. Yeah, any what? Yes, I've just washed two actually. <laughs> <laughs> Get stronger. I'll be okay. Just give me a little bit longer. Yeah, we're gonna win the struggle we're in. It's never goodbye. It's never goodbye till it's over. Come back to life. things like this that I'm forgetting that I bought that are making me so excited to pop away. I've got these from Habitat, these like acacia wood measuring cups and measuring spoons that I got from, yeah, Habitat, Argos or Sainsbury's. And then like these as well, a bit dark in there. Like these acacia wood bits, little scoops and lemon juicer from Zara Home. Ooh, it's little things like that. So happy. A little salt and pepper mill from Darnell. My Starbucks reusable flask. I've got seagrass trivet in there, which we need to get out pronto because um, we're obviously using hot plates already on the island. Little carafe from Asda with the Darnell kind of glass things that can sit on top of it like that. Honestly, it feels like Christmas. Going through all these things that I'm forgetting about, it's no fun trying to get the labels off though. Some of them in particular, I need to like put to one side to soak to get them off. And it's absolutely killing my nails, trying to like pick it off. So I'm gonna have to redo my nails tonight. But yeah, that is the process that we're working to. Oh, I just forgot about that mug as well. Done now. But we are in need of some, I've noticed we've got plenty of mugs, but I could do with some shorter mugs like espresso mugs or like flat white cortado shorter coffee ones because that's what we've been drinking but in a massive mug like this so it's only like filled a quarter of the way so yeah we could do with some smaller ones well hello there have you been shopping this is tom's idea of shopping mine is like zara home lights and accessories for styling the shelves I bought myself this, I think it was around my birthday time, I had a voucher from Hotel Chocolat, which they send you, like, they send you if you sign up to their emails, I think it is. Anyway, I put that towards this Podster machine. Our old KitchenAid one was honestly knackered. I'm sure if someone repairs it, they'll be able to restore it, so we'll just give it to charity. But um, I decided I want something a lot more sleeker, slimline, less in your face and taking up loads of space when it really doesn't need to for an espresso machine. So yes, I've invested in the Podster. I need to get some more Nespresso capsules for it. Just to note as well, when you get the Podster machine, when I opened it up, there was a leaflet inside that allowed me to get free biscuits, I think it was. All I had to do was just basically click a link and put in my address. So yeah, just a little tip there if you were thinking about getting one yourself. Let's make a decision now So come back to love I was so crazy to lose you Just come back to love Let's never do what we used to Even without saying Teasing without playing I've had enough So come back
decaf uh, pod smoke sauce machine. Some butter, some eggs, which we're gonna have today for our lunch. Tom's just on the phone, but afterwards he's gonna start cooking with some white sourdough. So that's what we're gonna have for our lunch. Stocked up on some of the hay fever essential some pods which i need to take downstairs and then they've got two new scents and i couldn't see the one that i wanted but i thought this one sounded good too so fairy we've got two new scents bergamot and neroli i think is the other one so if i see that i'll get it but this one also sounds nice lavender and rosemary i love the rosemary products for the delta farm cleaning products that i use are you ready for lunch yeah got some butter as well you pop in a pill Last time I had one of these, though, I felt drowsy. What are you doing, Fatter? I was. What's on me? Is that enough now? Oh, that's annoying. What? We've gone into two packets. Oh, How's that now, yeah? Because you finish a packet before you start the next one. They only have this, which is quite small. Right. But I thought because it's fresh. One, you know, am I lightly toasted? Tom's well done toasted. I've just had a email to say that my Zara lamp is due to today, even though I was expecting it in the next two to three days. So that's good. I'm hungry now, are you? Mm -hmm. Only half one, it's late lunch for us. In fact, I'll have jam on one. Sweet one. Thank you. I'm gonna go pick up some more of these glasses from Denham so that we've got a full set because I really like the shape of these ones. I think you do too, don't you? Yes. I feel like they do shorter ones as well, they're about three pounds each. Um they do smaller ones, so I'm just trying to decide whether or not to get maybe say eight of the tall, and then we currently have two of the smaller ones. Do I get a full set of eight of the smaller ones as well, or do we not need small and large? That is the current decision making that I have to do today and I'll just quickly show you because we're about to eat but we have had Jola blinds in now they're in it's feeling very dark in here but look at how the coving is coming along as well that is coming along nicely they're back tonight to finish off this room but yeah with them closed it's feeling extremely cozy in here I'm excited to get this flooring up get a nice big cozy light colored rug linen sofa in here just to soften it because obviously the black is quite harsh but and the lighting as well get some wall lights on i've got a linen lampshade to go on you can tell someone's been for a swim a little bit wet so i did end up picking up this ladder 29.99 i thought it was such good value i literally couldn't leave it behind and there were that many of them you should have seen me getting them all out to seeing which ones i preferred I wanted one that looked a bit more rustic with all these kind of knots and like these scuff marks and everything like that. So yeah, I went for it. I think it's definitely more of a styling ladder rather than a ladder to use to reach the top cupboards within the utility. So I'm still on the hunt for a little step stool, step ladder. But for now, I think I actually quite like the look of it in there. But I also think maybe over there somewhere we could have it out with like some throws thrown over it like blankets or even with it being white against the black wall in here somewhere. Maybe in here. I mean, I'm not really sure because we have the bookcase on this wall. I know we've talked about maybe adding a pole rail along here and a like hook over ladder at some point maybe in the future. For now I think because we went for the really deep coving, there's not a big gap and I actually quite I like the look of it just as a bookcase. Obviously the doors are still to go on. And they're just stacked up over there. You can see all these marks on the walls. That's where basically the paint is done, a mist coat in white, then a first coat in black, and then he goes over and like sands down any like imperfections before going over with another coat of black. So that's what all these little marks are all over the wall. Look at that big big strip there this is gonna get painted soon in black as well i just thought i'd show you this one last other item that i got from home sense we're a bit backlit here but 
hopefully you can see this citronella candle i just really liked the pot of it and obviously the smell of it for like on the kitchen island when we've got the doors open just to like avoid any bugs coming in just have a nice citronella candle burning um but yeah i really liked the pot of it and i feel like once it's burnt out i'll be able to keep this and reuse it for like styling purposes or even like a little pot to keep things in but yeah thought i would show you that that was 9.99 that one good morning it's actually a brand new day and i'm just getting ready i thought i'd carry on this vlog just because i thought well it didn't really properly end it yesterday but anyway um just doing my hair so i thought i'd show you this new tool that i'm about to use from ghd it's the i mean the one that i usually use is the soft curl top this one's the curve wand creative curl so the barrel of it is a slightly different shape it kind of goes a bit smaller at one end you can see that so it's meant to create a bit more of a loose tussled undone type wave but anyway i thought i'd give it a try and considering it's my first time using it i thought i would do it on camera so that's what we're doing this morning i'm just gonna um, I've just seen that the um, one of the workmen has just arrived so let me go and let him in before I start looking a little crazy with my hair clipped up all over the show BRB. oh and also bed changing day again why do I always seem to vlog when it's bed changing day in my bedroom um, yeah bed sheets are in the wash I do love a fresh laundry day fresh bedding day Right, let me go let him in and then I'll be back to carry on with this. So yeah, this is my hair just freshly washed, dried naturally, just a bit frizzy, a bit all over the show, no real style to it. I did wash it yesterday though, usually I would style it straight away, but I've slept on it so it's got a bit of a kink going on already anyway. Um, but I'm just going to take it off, take it off? <laughs> I'm definitely not going to take it off. I am popping over to the hairdressers tomorrow though. Um, but let me just throw it up on top of my head for now. So yeah, section off like the bottom half to start with and then split it in half like this. And then from each half, I'll just take sections starting from the back that are usually like a couple of inches thick. And then I'll curl that, put it behind, take the next section Curl that, put it behind, curl, put it behind, and I hold the curl as well. Turn on, run. They usually only take about 10 seconds or so to, to heat up. With beeps to tell you. I know this, in fact, I need to tuck these in or else I'm gonna end up curling these. <laughs> See, hear that beep? Usually I'm used to a clip as well, so I'm gonna always curl away from the face. I think it's quite nice as well sometimes if you alternate the curl direction but I'm just gonna stick with curling away from the face I think hold it for about 10 seconds or so what I can't do is get too much of the end piece curled when you have to hold it like this but I actually think it kind of adds to that undone look if you leave a kind of a small section out anyway so yeah then I just hold it for a bit Oh wow, yeah, that is so not what I'm used to. See how it's almost like curled at one bit, then straight at the next, then curled. It's just very much relaxed. Almost a bit like messy beach waves. So yeah, I'll do the rest on a time lapse and then we'll see what the end result looks like. I'm at the front pieces now, which I feel like I could spend a little extra time on with rollers or curls or whatever, but I'm just gonna stick with literally just using this wand. Because it gets quite close to the root, I'm just gonna be a bit careful, maybe just do it from like halfway down 
or just not hold it as long. Just see how that looks. Yeah. do obviously need to like brush them out properly but let's do this side we've still got probably two sections left the last section right it's looking a little crazy at the minute until I brush out hopefully um, I find it's easier to curl them in terms of it, like you don't need to hold it for as long as my other ones. Super my tea. I've got this pucker one today. How funny curls look like this before doing anything with them. Right, let's go into the bathroom and let's see what we're working with. So this is what it looks like before brushing the curls out. See how the ends, I don't know if you can see that, are like a bit straighter, which I quite like. Something a bit different. So I'm going to go in with some Moroccan oil, just a couple of pumps. Warm it up in the hands. And then I usually just run this like throughout the, the ends. So let's just stick to how I would ordinarily do this. And then just like with my fingers, just brush out these curls. And then for the roots, I'm just gonna go in with a tiny little spritz of Kerastase dry shampoo. It doesn't really need much because it's fairly freshly washed. Washed yesterday, but even on freshly washed hair, I find it just is good for a bit of volume. Just literally a little bit like that. It smells so good, this one. of hairspray to hold it in place this ghd perfect ending for fix hairspray it looks a little crazy at the front i feel like i could have done less curls at the front on this side so here we have it what do we think i quite like it i'm happy with that see how it's more like imperfect, it's a bit straight here, a bit of straight there. Very much, like I say, undone kind of look. Just give a little shimmy upside down. I'll show you from the back what it looks like. What do we think? Are we a fan or no? Anyone else is still on the Wordle hype? Because we are, like we have a little family group chat on WhatsApp and I've just seen a couple of them sending over their results for today. I've not done it today, so should we do it together? I feel like I'll just sip on my tea for a bit. I also need to show you my Zara lamp later. Wordle for today. I always like to start with, I have a few words that I like. Audio is a good one, we'll do that because you get quite a few vowels in there. Basically them all apart from me. A, and in the wrong place. Let's go beast. Ooh. Let's go with water. I think that's right, yeah. So if you've never played Wordle, it's just you just Google it. But yellow means they're in the wrong place. So green means they're in the right place. We're gonna get it in for hopefully. So it's not water, it is like we've got later, cater, which one should we do? I feel like later. No, let's do cater. How annoying. Oh no, it's not cater either. Gator? Hater? That's my last guess as well. Let's go hater. Oh, I feel like it's not going to be hater. Yay! Still, getting it in six guesses is no good. That's Wordle of the day done. I wanted to show you this that I got yesterday from TK Maxx as well when I popped into HomeSense. It's next to TK Maxx, the one that I went to, so I popped in there as well. Don't often have a look at the clothing section, but I thought, 
let me just have a quick browse whilst I was in and this was like on the end of an aisle and I just thought it was so practical it's like a linen like overcoat but quite thin it's not like it's not as thin as like a linen shirt would be it's got a bit more to it than that but it's not as thick as like a cardigan or a coat so I just feel like a really nice layer to have during summer over like a white dress you know like if you're going to like a family barbecue or something you want like a layer to wear for as it gets a bit cooler in the evenings or even if I wore like my I've got some like really nice from Tesco's white tailored shorts so if I had like tailored shorts a little vest on but this covers like the back of my legs so anyway, just a good little staple in medium, UK 12, this one in is. It was $34.99. Also got in here some treats for Mr. Barney Boo. I thought these ones looked yummy for him. Campfire S'mores Bites. He quite likes the Denzel's ones, but he's never had this one. Cozy, right? They were £2.49. And then I was so happy to find this. I've actually got one of these already, which I need to get out. I was saving it for getting it out in the new kitchen or maybe in the entryway. But now I've got two. I'll have them throughout downstairs. It's my favourite scent that I've ever come across, this vine tomato scent. I've got a Delta Farm candle in vine tomato. Amazing. Can't wait to start burning that. And then two of these diffusers. I did have a candle, but I burnt through it from Urban Apothecary. Um, but yeah, smells really, really good. £11 in the clearance, this one. I think these, how much do these retail for? Because they are, you can buy them full price. Reed diffuser is £45 and the candles are 40 Honestly, it's the nicest scent for like a kitchen especially to be able to just burn like whilst you're cooking or whatever just to kind of neutralise odours. It's honestly beautiful. I think Jo Malone did a, some kind of a tomato, vine tomato scent at one point as well. I don't know if they still do or not but it's the perfect scent for a kitchen. I'm just obsessed with it. Let's go downstairs now and show you my Zara lamp. So cute, it's tiny. This is how the lamp is looking. Need to actually get a bulb for it, but um all I've done is essentially just popped it on a couple of coffee table books. I'll link these, but they are Amazon. So this one's called At Home. This one is Timeless Interiors and Renovation. That one's a lovely one to flick through, especially if you are thinking about doing a renovation for some ideas and inspiration. So yeah, just for now, these are literally just the two that I grabbed. They were first that I saw in the storage room. So still need to like have a good shuffle around with this space. I found this photo frame from B&M as well. I've got a larger one. I thought it was going to be too big for this space, but I actually think a larger one would fit as well as that. So maybe both of them, but for now, just pop that there. And yeah, that's how it's looking. So I obviously need to have a good long styling session. I've popped the other Zara home lamp that we've currently got over there however because they're two kind of similar i feel like they don't go so i'm thinking of popping that one in this corner over here if we find like a plinth or something i'm in two minds here as well whether or not to put a big floor standing mirror which is what i think we will do or to pop a console leaning towards the mirror idea though because we do already have a console that's going to go behind the sofa here so yeah i'm thinking like maybe one or two plinths here of which the lamp can go on one because we've got a socket over there so that it kind of lights up that corner at night time when we don't have the main lights on we just have some lamps on then there's a light there and a light over here as cute and as small as she is but I love the texture of this I just think it's gorgeous so yeah I'm really really happy with that yeah I think the upcoming videos that I'll have for you is more organizing the kitchen styling up these spaces like actually bringing home decor pieces up and actually getting styling of the spaces i don't want to rush things and i will like shift things and have a good play around and it's going to take time and i feel like even seasonally i'll change up and switch up these areas so yeah 
I have a lot to be getting on with. For now though, I think for the most part we have everything up in our kitchen. Obviously the kitchen, the entire kitchen is now clean. Everything's popped away. I'll show you, um, I'll give you a quick overview of all, everything that's in the cupboards. So I'll start down here. Again, nothing is organized. This is where I need to start organizing now, but baking trays in here is probably a good idea to put baking trays in there anyway. I'm thinking pans in here, although we currently have them over there, which you'll see in a second, and that's a bigger drawer, and they fit in that entire drawer, so maybe I will keep them there. Maybe pop some more baking trays or something in here, but yeah, I've just got mixture of different things some bowls from primark this just has loads of like spare kind of linen bags and stuff and then in here some glassware some more books mugs my favorite one obviously my emma bridgewater golden retriever mug um some chopping boards up here some kitchen towels some more chopping boards trays silicone molds oven gloves up here that one's empty and that one's just got stuff in like spare light bulbs i was hoping that one would fit the zara lamp but it doesn't it's too big so i need to go and buy a bulb for that but um this tray has just got loads of like all the paperwork bits in for you know things like all the appliances all the bits of paperwork that comes with these things dishwasher in here i've just got currently some tea towels, like old ones that I'm gonna be binning eventually once I get out my new, nice new ones, and some dog treats. Under the sink, just a couple of cleaning bits, nothing too much, just things that I've been actually using. This, guys, smells incredible. And then in here is just our bin, and we've got spare bin bags and recycle bags up there, another dishwasher, and then down here, again, just some miscellaneous things. Now, I've seen this kitchen roll Holder, this is like one item that I've got a duplicate of. Forget what I bought. But this Acacia kitchen roll holder from Aldi. Um, I'll keep this up here, the Acacia recipe stand for on the island, but I've bought a Zara home one, which I prefer, kitchen roll holder. So I think I'm actually gonna put this one in the utility because I do find that it's quite handy to have kitchen roll down there as well. So yeah, that one will get used, just not in the kitchen. Got these little mini spice. Things. I think these were Aldi as well, actually. Um, these from Zara, ha not Zara Home, H&M Home, so cute little cheese markers with all different cheeses on. Some of my nice new um, kitchen towels that I've been keeping. Little garlic holder. Also, I've got in here, can you see there, the pumpkin Starbucks cup. I just feel like, I'd, and that pumpkin there, I don't know whether to put seasonal kitchenware down in the basement or keep it out all year round within the kitchen, but maybe just have like a dedicated section towards like Christmassy bits and Halloween and pumpkin bits, but just have it put away in one section. Maybe in one of the like taller cabinets that we don't like access all the time because they're too high up. Barney's new dog bowl from Dalesford Farm, so we can get that out soon as well. And my little Chatsworth House mug. I've got loads of mugs, honestly. I feel like, making me realize how many mugs I've got, but um, they're all probably gonna go actually in the larder unit. Again, vine tomato candle that I mentioned. I can't wait to start burning some more pumpkin bits back there, some sieves. I, we need to get a colander, realize we're missing one. My salt and pepper La Cruze mills as well, which I'm gonna get out and maybe even keep out on this shelf or like have it styled up on a tray in the middle of the island with my salt and pepper pots from um, White Company, actually, yeah, salt and pepper pots from White Company will go on there. So yeah, maybe these La Cruzy ones I could style up here somewhere, and then obviously they're really handy to just grab and grow, grab and grow, grab and go. These have been our essentials, and they've just been kept there for convenience. But actually, we should pop them up there with our first aid bits. Some more mugs up there, and more glassware as well. Again, more acacia wood lidded jars. Um, these will all probably be going in the pantry section for like food bits and stuff. So yeah, for now they're all just in here. Spoon rest from Le Creuset as well. These are Tom's pride and joy. His knives from Blenheim Forge which we can just keep in that leather pouch. And then in here we have nothing in there and nothing in there. So then for the island units, we've got in here, just got again more glassware. This, I love this utensils pot. This one was a Matalan find. And then these as well. I feel like this acacia wood, I've got quite a lot of to go in the pantry. So I was thinking either organize packets of like rice in here or maybe teas in the like coffee larder unit. And then all of these bits will probably go in like the utensils drawer. These are all like Zara home. 
more mugs, egg cups. This is a little bin caddy for when we're cooking to just pop on the island, super handy. It's from Minky, that one. I think um, I'll try and leave it linked. I'll try and leave things I can linked below. And yeah, just some more like serverware down here. If, if you can see anything that I've not mentioned, just pop it in the comments below. Where is that from? And I'll let you know. And then in these drawers, this is the one that I was saying is all of our pans. I've got this full stainless steel set from Costco. And then we've got chopping boards currently in here, bowls and plates. By the way, this full set that I bought with all these kind of like, they're kind of like Neptune dupes, these ones. These are all from TK Maxx and HomeSense. And then in here, this just kind of miscellaneous drawer that needs to be properly organized for things like Kitchen foil, cling film, knives. Probably have a different place for these, um, like placemats and stuff. I actually don't know if I'm gonna keep these. So the only two that I've got, maybe for like hot plates actually on the island, that'd be quite nice. But I need to get full sets of placemats. In here, lots of like linenware, spare like canvas bags, linen aprons, um, table runners, napkins, that kind of thing. Some more utensils. Again, more wooden bits. These are like Zara Home. I think this one is Aldi as well, actually. In fact, you guys will probably remember more better than I do. And then in this drawer, some plates which we've been using, more mugs in there. And then in here is like just our cutlery organizer. So that cutlery organizer is gonna stay in here, but I still haven't come across our new set of cutlery that I've got down in the basement somewhere. So there's definitely still at least some more kitchen bits to come up, but I think they are in like a box of their own actually. So anyway, I need to find them. Then over this side of the island, there's nothing in these cupboards here. And then this one is empty as well. And then this is just the drinks fridge. Then in here, for now, just put my new ladder. Um, but in here, we've just been keeping all of like our foodie bits that we've been using. Like that's all of our food is in here. Obviously, eventually it's going to be probably in all of these cupboards, may, definitely all along the top along the bottom as well probably and then this one I might keep because it's quite deep and big for any kind of spare if we do have any like spare uh what they call like appliances like KitchenAid mixers if we get one of those I've got the big pestle and mortar that Tom back, bought back from India there but that's probably going to go on the island as well so yeah that's just been keeping our food that we've currently been using in there and then in here the coffee and teas so again nothing really on the shelves i think all the mugs are going to go in here and then all of this is just everything that we have that is tea and coffee related but again i need to properly organize it all i'm going to make it look far more aesthetically pleasing than what it currently does um but that is all many many vlogs to come i feel like we've just got so much content exciting content to come but as for now that is how everything is currently looking i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video i'm going to end it here because i feel like i've got plenty of content for today's video thank you so so much for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video thumbs up if you have subscribed for all this exciting content to come and i will see you guys hopefully in the next one bye guys